Hey guys, welcome to the knife tool tutorial for Blender. The knife tool is something that's pretty intuitive that you might have thought should exist at some point. Like, oh, what if I just want to cut a mesh diagonally, you know, or what if I want to cut a guy in half or something? And, uh, well, this tool might be for you because the knife tool is a very flexible tool that allows people to model a little bit more dynamically, a little bit more customizable. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. It's pretty simple. We're going to go into edit mode because it is a modeling tool. I'm going to go ahead and hit the K hotkey, K for knife. Yes, I know knife has a silent K in it, but it does have a K in it. So we're going to go ahead and hit K for knife, and that will actually bring up the knife tool and allow us to left click. I don't have to hold the left click. It will automatically hold it for me, and I can actually, as you can see here, sort of draw across the geometry. Now if you notice, there's little green dots following the intersection between this line and the edges there, if you see that. And that actually represents where vertices will be created to finish your cut, essentially, after you confirm this cut. So I'm going to go ahead and left click to sort of create that cut. And you can see there, I still have this little cursor. So you can keep going if you want to. I can draw another one here if I want to, for example. And it allows you to keep going as much as you want. Now once you're ready, to actually complete this cut, you can hit enter actually this time. Instead of left click, you want to press enter to actually cut the mesh. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter now. And as you can see here, it created vertices and edges based on my intention. So there's clearly a vertex here, vertex here. I mean, you, you get the point. Basically, it cuts into it and makes these things. Now, notice it didn't cut into the back. It only cuts into the faces that it can see directly. Even if we were to go into wireframe mode and I were to take the K key and draw across it like this, right, left click. And I can also right click to cancel, by the way, which cancels it completely. But I can left click, drag, left click, and then hit enter. And then as you can see here, nothing was cut in the back, which is fine. It's just you have to be aware of that. So if you were to do this and you want to cut it all the way around, you might want to do something like something like this. Make sure that sort of lines up. You can notice that the uh, the green point there on the very left hand side actually turns red once it merges with an existing vertex. So I can actually do this. Make sure that that vertex turns red. Make sure the other two are still green drawing new vertices. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there. And as you can see, this vertex has been merged with the existing vertex, which is really, really nice. And you can, of course, you can continue uh, drawing all around. And so I can connect this one, for example, to uh, this one, you know, and right click to confirm. Now you notice right there when I did that, it looked a little bit different. So I can actually draw a slightly more interesting pattern if I were to, for example, let's just move it here. Uh, if I were to press K, usually, like last time I showed you, if you left click and drag over, it can cut a diagonal line, a straight line, through multiple edges. But you can also left click and drag. Instead of left click and then let go and then move your cursor, you can actually left click and drag. And that will actually allow you to have a little bit more interesting shapes here. So I can actually cut all along this sort of polygonal shape here. Instead of just a straight line, I can do that. And then once I let go, it still sort of follows me because it still thinks I'm doing something with it. And again, if you just hit enter, there you go. There you have a very interesting shape. So the knife tool is very, very flexible. It allows you to do a lot of cool things and make a little bit more uh, minute refinements if you have to, or make something that would be an unorthodox cut otherwise. So it makes things a little bit easier for you if you need it. Now, uh, that's it for the knife tool.